Hello my amazing people, welcome back to the channel. Now in this new series of the Elementor Tips and Tricks on this channel, today I'm going to show you three different ways on how you can use that mail tool link to enable your website visitors to use their favorite email client and send you emails. Let's dive straight in. As you can see over here on the W3Schools website, this is how the mail to HTML link can look like on a typical website. But if you're going to use it in Elementor or in a theme, you may have to tweak up something so that it works perfectly well. So let me show you exactly how we can go about that in our website. The first way to add it is, for example, adding it in a text-based widget. For example, this is a text-based widget. Or by simply coming over here and then grab a text widget, just like this over here. And you can simply drag it into your Elementor website. And for example, if you want to add an email over right here, you simply just come, say email, and then you enter the email, hamza at email.com. Maybe that's the email that you want someone, once they click over there, they will be prompted to send an email using their favorite email client. So when you highlight over this, then you're going to simply say, insert a link, and automatically the text editor widget in Elementor is going to add for you the mail to HTML tag. But you notice that over here there isn't the prefix for the href from the HTML. This is how it simply has to be. You simply just apply. Once you update, your website visitor will have the option to simply click on this email over here and boom, your website visitor's favorite email clients opens up over here and they can simply start writing an email and once they are done they can simply send. So in case you're using an icon box just like over here, let me duplicate this. Okay. And if I'm changing the email, let me say hamza at email.com. Then right down here, you have to add the mail to link without the prefix of href so that your website visitors are able to simply just click over here and their favorite email client will open up. Please don't make a mistake of adding the H riff over here. Otherwise, it will not work out straight. So if we are to look on the live page, so I'll simply just come over right here. You see we have another email. Once someone clicks over there, boom, the email client opens up for your website visitor or one that is running on your computer. Now, let me show you another way to add it. In case you want to add it like in a header that, that wasn't made using Elementor, for example, in this case, I'm using the Astro theme. In this case, what you simply want to do is to enable someone by clicking over here to say click to send, your email client opens up immediately. So what we are going to do is by simply coming back here to our dashboard, we are going to go straight to appearance, customize, and under customize, we are simply going to come right over here to the header. Once you are into the header, since this section is on the above header, we are simply going to come over here to the above header. So we have the option to add text stroke and HTML. We have already added a phone number and then we have this other text written down here. Now, this is where it's different. Now, once you're adding the mail to option in the header of the theme, in this case for Astra, remember to add the href prefix like this over here and then also add the mail to link over right here so that someone is able to simply click and open up their email client now in this case if we don't add the prefix you realize that our mail to link won't work straight out of the box just like you see over right here it will simply appear as mail to reservation but remember, this is how we've been doing it in Elementor. Now, in this case, we are doing it in the theme and we simply just have to add an HTML link. And that's why we simply added the whole of this, the anchor tag, the href prefix, and then the mail to link. And then we close up. Now here, you can simply change these wordings to what you want. You can say, send email. And once someone clicks over right here, boom, their favorite email client shows up. So in a nutshell, that's how you can simply prompt your website visitor to use their favorite email client to send you an email straight into your inbox using their email address. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video of value to you. Now, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be releasing more exciting elementary tips and tricks that you can use in your everyday website building journey.
Have a good time and goodbye.